so ak your job as a you now mentor was a great thing for me and also they had some personal uh, questions uh, the questions that were not available on the internet uh, yeah. or you need to go to internet and uh, manually search those things you know some websites would give you some questions and stuff but ak your you know does it for you it uh, Uh, traverses across the web it searches and it gives you the best interview questions and uh, you can go practice there so that it, you will improve your uh, problem solving skills as a front end developer or as a dsa hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel we are back with another testimonial today we have yugesh with us yugesh is an akio job alumni who recently got placed in sunbase as a front end developer he has done his graduation in btech csc uh, in the year 2022 itself right after that in march 2023 he joined akio job it's been more than a year for him that he has been studying with akio job and finally he has been placed so today we talked to him and try to understand how his entire journey was with akio job how he was able to crack this company and what all things he did in his uh, you know daily routine which helped him crack this company so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, now without wasting any more time let's jump up into the session uh, hi yugesh thank you so much for taking out time to do this with us uh, can you quickly introduce yourself for our viewers yeah hello everyone my name is yugesh i'm a computer science engineer i graduated in the year 2022 so since uh, after my graduation i decided to become a front end developer kind of before graduation so i started out as a amateur front end developer learning from across the web and you know, watching youtube videos and stuff like that but uh, my major breakthrough in front end happened when i was researching on the web and i got a uh, suggestion from a guy in gora that uh, i go go join akio so i just mm-hmm. thought uh, of joining the akio contact then uh, once after the year, the process was done i joined them. and uh, i joined uh, akio as a beginner hmm. and they taught me java complete java and the dsa hmm. front end and after completing the beginner course i moved on to the front end uh, front end was uh, uh, like uh, i knew front end but uh, the, the akio guys taught me from every scratch from scratch hmm. to advanced level even though i had uh, learned these things in as uh, from youtube and across the source but learning from a mentor uh, from learning from a guy who uh, who's actually a front end developer and i can communicate with him whenever i want uh, was some unique experience in youtube videos you can't do that right uh, in uh, live sessions you can ask whatever doubt you have so ak your job as a now mentor was a great thing for me and also they had some personal uh, questions uh, the questions that were not available on the internet uh, yeah. or you need to go to internet and uh, manually search those things you know some websites would give you some questions and stuff but ak your you know does it for you it, uh, it uh, traverses across the web it searches and it gives you the best interview questions and uh, you can go practice there so that it, you will improve your uh, problem solving skills as a front end developer or as a dsa guy and the next thing was uh, the the thing that i was uh, very pleased from akio was this uh, mentorship session the mentorship session from akio was very cool you have a dsa mentorship session you have front end mentorship session you have resume mentorship session and they have a lot of uh, things uh, you have from akio so that you have a one one call from the, from a guy who uh, is well versed in the subject of gor Uh, what we want to do. So uh, that's one major thing from Acio, and you have uh, batch managers, so you don't have to worry about the internal structures. You don't have to worry about the uh, you know, Acio is a big organization, so you don't have to get lost. So you have your personal batch managers, so don't hesitate. Uh, kind of things, and finally, uh, I completed my beginner, and I moved to front end, and I had the opportunity to move back end, but uh, kind of uh, my career was a front end developer. I don't, I didn't. back end so i stick with front end and i passed the front end after passing the front end uh, resume session and the place of front end placement ready the smock i was mm-hmm. uh, ready for the placements and i was waiting i attended many placements some of them got rejected but finally uh, a company called sunbase uh, hired me from uh, through akio and mm-hmm. uh, i will always be grateful for akio for bringing me to the it sector and uh, yeah that's my journey with the akio now i'm happily working in a company 
So when I was in my final year of engineering, I discovered front-end. So before that, I was just a regular guy who went to college and stuff like that. Uh, when I was in my final year, I discovered this. I was really interested in creating web applications, uh, platforms, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I found React JS, and then uh, I was really interested in that. So I decided. Uh, so I. I should start my career as a front end developer and then move on to be a full stack developer and create web applications and stuff like that. But before moving on to be a full stack developer, I need to start somewhere from the beginning. That is front end. So once I learn front end, then then I can gradually move to back end and become a full stack developer. So front end was the opportunity for me. So after that, my my I got many opportunities from my company uh, and placements from the. college yeah. but i uh, i decided that uh, maybe i should wait and uh, do uh, front end and then start my career so yeah. that's the main reason that i the passion towards front end uh, got me to this job ठीक है सो योगेश जैसे कि आपने मेंशन किया कि आपने यू नो मार्च के बिगनिंग में लास्ट ईयर दैट टू यू जॉइन द आखियो जॉब एंड इट्स बीन अ ईयर फॉर यू एंड नाउ यू आर फाइनली प्लेस्ड इन सनवेस बट काफी लंबी जर्नी रही है आपकी आपने काफी सारे मॉड्यूल्स भी क्लियर करे हैं सो टेल अस बिफोर क्रॉकिंग द सनवेस हाउ मेनी कंपनीज डिड यू सेट फॉर एंड इवन इफ लाइक यू आर रिजेक्टिंग इन दोस कंपनीज व्हाट वाज द रीजन फॉर इट एंड व्हाट वाज दैट थिंग दैट यू इंप्रूव्ड थ्रू आउट व्हिच हेल्प यू क्रॉक दिस कंपनी Uh, uh to be honest sunbase was the first company that i got uh, selected uh, as a face to face interview round and it was oh, the first okay. company that i got selected before that uh, some companies rejected me in the assignment round something like that or uh, resume shortlisting round so it's not been so uh, many companies that i got rejected from so uh, the case was from the experience side. Uh, resume shortlisting was not happening but uh, when it comes to fresha uh, uh, i think uh, Like two to three companies that said not me. Uh, okay. I got so, rejected you, at the uh, yes, I'm. Okay. So did you notice anything that was missing in your resume? Maybe was it projects, and did you work on that, or something related to skills? Maybe that was missing. Nah, maybe uh, the experience part. Uh, they were looking for the experience. At least two years. They were looking for at least a guy who was uh, experienced. Two years. Okay, that's uh, great, uh, Yogesh. So now that you have finally joined uh, Sunbase, tell us a little bit about that experience. Like, how is it working out for you so far? And uh, you know, uh, being a fresher who just passed out of college and now working in this company, uh, how has the experience changed uh, from being a student to a working professional? Now? So basically, uh, everything's new for me. And uh, uh, Sunbase is a US-based company, and the uh, work is the remote. I work from home. and okay. it's been 3 weeks uh, since uh, jo- since i joined sunbase it's a very friendly environment they teach you everything uh, it's not a bit uh, like uh, they are not giving me uh, stuff that are too overhead to over uh, campus and process like that mm. uh, they and uh, the guys from uh, sunbase are very kind and they teach me and they walk through me so it's been a pleasant uh, environment and work condition it's That's great, you know, Yogesh. Now uh, let's play a small rapid fire round, right? I'll just ask you a bunch of questions, and whatever comes to your head first, you can let me know. Okay, so uh, what is your favorite coding language? JavaScript, of course. Okay, and what is that one uh, tech trend that you're most excited about in the coming future? Really? Mm, maybe uh, regarding the front end, I would say next JS. Next.js. I'm a React developer, but I need to really uh, look forward to learning Next.js, and of course, I need to learn Python. Uh, there is one uh, to-do list that I need to do. Okay. And uh, if you have to uh, describe your entire journey with Akio Job in just one word, what would that be? Mm, it would be life-changing. Yeah, that would be accurate. 
Okay, great. And uh, Yugesh, I would just like to, you know, ask you uh, your one piece of advice that you would like to give to all those students who are also freshers, who are a little bit confused, and maybe a lot of not good companies are visiting their colleges, but they want to upskill themselves and want to go to good companies. Uh, what one advice would you like to give to those students? Mm, uh, basically, I would say utilize the most from Accio. Uh, Akio is ready to uh, willing to uh, give you everything they have. Uh, you just have to make sure that you get it from them. So uh, start from the scratch. Uh, uh, they have coding questions from basic to advanced. Start uh, learning them and utilize the mentors. The mentors are very friendly. Uh, ask questions if you have any doubts. Don't hesitate. I know we uh, usually don't ask questions in the classrooms, right? We have a lot of uh, the intro and feeling. But uh, in the uh, in the uh, live sessions, you don't have that. You have the comfort of uh, you're in your house and stuff like that. You don't have that uh, thing. So you can uh, do that. You can ask questions. You can chat them. So uh, do that. Uh, you have a mentor session, of course. You know, utilize that. So you're not you're not gonna stay with Accio for forever, right? So okay. don't hesitate to ask questions and stuff like that, and uh, move along. You you'll get placed. Trust me. Okay, that's a great piece of uh, advice, Yogesh. I'm sure people listening to you will surely find it insightful. Uh, thank you so much again for taking out time to do this with us. Uh, we wish you all the best for your future, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Bye. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you all found it extremely insightful with Yogesh's story. And if you are also interested in learning coding, just go to our website. The link is in the description. Uh, you will be able to see all the courses which we have to offer. Uh, whichever course interests you the most, you can apply for it, register it, and uh, all the courses have amazing instructors, be it mentors or. Uh, people who are going to teach you so do make sure that you check it out and if you guys are new to the channel then don't uh, forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, thank you so much for tuning in we will see you in the next one